Here's the real reason Apple Notes feel slow and messy for most people. It's not the app, it's the way you're using it. With a few hidden tricks and shortcuts, Notes transforms into a fast, organized, and surprisingly powerful tool. Have you ever rotated your iPhone in the Notes app? Most people think Notes is limited to OneNote view, when really, in landscape mode, it secretly becomes a multitasking dashboard. You actually unlock a completely different view, almost like using Notes on an iPad. And here's why you need to give it a try. First, turn your iPhone sideways into landscape mode. Now, the screen splits into two panels. On the left, you'll see all your folders and notes. And on the right, your selected note stays open. And it's not just about the wider view. You unlock extra tools that make navigating your notes even faster. You can actually see all your notes at once and quickly jump between notes inside any folder without ever leaving the screen. If you want more space to focus, just tap the small arrow in the middle of the screen. That hides the sidebar, giving you a full screen view of your note. Tap the arrow again, and your notes list reappears instantly. The search bar at the top also works here, so you can instantly jump to any note you need. And don't miss the view options. Use the three dot menu to switch between list view and gallery view. In gallery, you can browse your notes visually, making it easier to find the one you're looking for. And here's something most people miss. While you're inside any note, if you tap the three dots at the top, you'll find an option called Recent Notes. Tap it and instantly you'll see a quick access list of the notes you've opened most recently. Perfect if you're jumping between different projects. Now here's where it gets really powerful. If you combine both list view on the left and the recent notes menu, you've got a much smarter way to stay organized. Folders give you structure, while recent notes give you speed. Together, they make finding and managing your notes feel effortless. A couple of quick shortcuts to wrap this up. You can swipe on notes directly in the sidebar to pin, delete, or move them without leaving the view. And if you ever use a Bluetooth keyboard with your iPhone, Landscape mode makes typing and editing feel much more natural, almost like using a mini iPad. So landscape mode on iPhone isn't just about a wider screen, it actually changes the way you use notes, almost like the iPad version. Have you tried this before or is this your first time seeing it? Let me know in the comments. Did you know that instead of opening notes, scrolling through folders and typing, there's a shortcut that lets you append text instantly with just one tap. Here's how it works. Open the Shortcuts app, then tap the plus sign to create a new shortcut. First, add the dictate text action. This lets you speak, and everything you say is instantly converted into plain text. Not a fan of dictation? Swap it out for Ask for Input, so you can type or paste text manually whenever you run the shortcut. Or, if you've already copied something important, just use clipboard so it appends whatever's on your clipboard straight into your note. Now at the bottom, use the search bar to find actions. Just type note and scroll until you see append to note. That's the one you need. Next, add the append to note action. Choose the exact note you want. Maybe your daily journal, an idea log, or a running to-do list. Now, every time you run the shortcut, your input, spoken, typed, or pasted, gets dropped straight into that note without you ever opening the Notes app. To keep things neat, give the shortcut a name, hit the play button to test it, and that's it. From here, you can trigger it directly from the Shortcuts app, pin it as an icon on your home screen, or even map it to the action button for instant access. And adding it to your home screen is simple. Tap the share arrow at the top of your shortcut, then choose Add to Home Screen. You can even customize the icon and color so it looks clean and personal. Once it's set up, a single tap is all it takes. You might never need to open the Notes app again just to jot something down. Think your iPhone is safe? You might already be hacked and not even know it. There are six warning signs you can't ignore. Once you finish this video, check out the next one to see if your iPhone is at risk. Everyone assumes Quick Notes only works in Safari, but that's not true. It actually works in photos, mail, and even messages. And the best part? When you go back later, the note pops up right where you left it. Let me show you. First, open Control Center. 
Tap the plus button. Choose add a control. Then search for quick note and add it. Done. Now try this inside photos. Open a photo, swipe down to bring up control center, tap quick note, then hit add link. That picture is now saved inside a note and you can add text or context. The same trick works in mail or messages too. And here's the magic. When you revisit that same photo, website, or even the message, your iPhone prompts you to reopen the quick note instantly. No digging, no scrolling, it just finds you. That's why this feature is so underrated. Instead of your ideas getting lost in notes, they follow you exactly where you need them. With ideas captured, let's turn them into action without slowing down. You might already know you can share a note to reminders by hitting the share button, that little square with the upward arrow. From the share options, choose reminders. Instantly, a new reminder is created with the notes title as the reminder name and the entire note content added to the reminders details. It's a seamless way to offload tasks without slowing down your workflow. But here's a quicker way to zero in on specific details. Highlight specific text in a note. Tap to bring up the pop-up menu, choose share, and then pick reminders. The resulting reminder will have the same title as the note, but the note section of the reminder will only include the highlighted text. Perfect for focusing on the exact details you need without dragging along the whole note. It's like having a turbocharged to-do list that syncs up in seconds. Most people are using Apple Notes the slow way and it's costing them time every single day. Be honest. How many times have you rebuilt the same grocery list, meeting outline, or daily checklist from scratch? Here's the good news. There are two simple tricks to speed things up. So you never waste time typing the same thing over and over again. Let's start with the first one. Instead of retyping, build a reusable template, open notes, create a new note, and set it up with the sections you always need, like agenda, action items, and follow-ups. Use headings and checklists to structure it once. When your template is ready, just tap the share button at the top, then choose copy. Now paste it into a new note whenever you need it. And to stay organized, create a templates folder so you can access them in seconds without digging through old notes. That's trick number one. Now, let me show you the second one, which is even faster. Go to settings, then keyboard, and tap on text replacement. Here you can create shortcuts that instantly expand into full text. For example, type meet, and it can drop in your entire meeting outline, agenda, action items, everything. Type dot grok and boom, your full grocery list appears. The setup takes just a minute, but once it's saved, you'll never waste time retyping the same notes again. Together, templates and text replacement give you a system that makes Apple Notes lightning fast and way more powerful than most people realize. Before you click away, check out my next video, How to Tell If Your iPhone Was Hacked. Don't wait until it's too late.